On the suspicious occasion of the celebration of 88th birthday of His Holiness the 14th Dalai Lama, the Tibet Museum is delighted to present a brief biography of His Holiness. His Holiness the 14th Dalai Lama Tenzin Gyatso is the spiritual leader of Tibet and was the head of the state until his devolution of political power to the elected leadership in 2011. He was born on 6 July 1935 to a farming family in a small hamlet located in Takser, Amdo province in the northeastern Tibet. At the age of two, the child named Hamo Tundup was recognized as the reincarnation of 13 Dalai Lama Thupten Gyatso. On 22 February 1940, he was formally enthroned at a ceremony in the Patala Palace, Lhasa. His Holiness the 14th Dalai Lama began his monastic education at the age of 5 and at 23 was awarded the Geshil Harampa degree equivalent to a doctorate of Buddhist philosophy. On 17th November 1950, at the age of 16, His Holiness was called upon to assume full political power following China's invasion of Tibet the previous year. In 1954, his Holiness went to Beijing for peace talks with Mao Zedong and other Chinese leaders including Deng Xiaoping and Zhao Wenlai. In 1959, at the age of 24, he was forced into exile in India due to the increasing repression under the Communist China's occupation. Since then, he has been living in Dharamsala, Northern India, headquarter of the Central Tibetan Administration. After the Chinese invasion, His Holiness appealed to the United Nations on the question of Tibet as a result, the UN General Assembly adopted three resolutions on Tibet in 1959, 1961 and 1965. Soon after his arrival in India, His Holiness the Dalai Lama established the Central Tibetan Administration on 29 April 1959 to succeed the Gandhi Potong government which had governed independent Tibet since 1642. He also introduced Tibetans in exile to the practice of democratic self-rule and instituted the first election of Tibetan people's representatives on 2 September 1960. In 1963, His Holiness the Dalai Lama presented a draft democratic constitution for a future Tibet, followed by a number of reforms to democratize the administrative setup of the Tibetan community in exile. These initiatives eventually led to the promulgation of a new democratic constitution called the Charter of Tibetans in Exile in 1991, which provided for the expansion of the Tibetan parliament in exile and empowered it to elect governors of the Tibetan administration. In March 2011, His Holiness the Dalai Lama, in order to bring about complete democratization of the Tibetan policy, announced his decision to devolve his political responsibility to an elected Tibetan leadership. On 29 May 2011, His Holiness the Dalai Lama signed into law the formal transfer of his temporal powers to the democratically elected leaders. His Holiness the Dalai Lama truly empowered his people through this decisive act, unleashing their collective energy to sustain their struggles for years to come. Today, His Holiness the Dalai Lama is recognized globally as an embodiment of the highest human aspirations, the end of suffering, the cultivation of happiness for all sentient beings. To spread this enduring human message, His Holiness the Dalai Lama has traveled tirelessly over 67 countries, meeting the powerful and the mighty, the poor and the disenfranchised with the same warmth and care. He has held dialogues with heads of different religions and many eminent scientists. He has authored or co-authored 116 books in the English language. In recognition of this unwavering efforts to spread the message of peace, non-violence, interreligious harmony, universal responsibility and compassion, His Holiness the Dalai Lama has been honored with more than 150 awards and honorary doctorates including the Nobel Peace Prize in 1989, the US Congressional Gold Medal in 2007 and the Templeton Prize in 2012. To conclude, we hope that this video was informative, educational and a new learning experience for you. 
Once again, we would like to wish His Holiness a very healthy and a happy 88th birthday. May all his visions of global peace, religious harmony and secular ethics prevail.